Well, hello. Hopefully you watched my August wrap up and you know that I'm, I'm back. I know it's been two years, but hopefully I'm back. Uh, we'll see how things pan out. Um, but without further ado, let's get into a September TBR, a weekend. But, you know, we'll see how it goes. The first book on my TBR for this month is our book club pick for September. And I'm just holding up my Kindle because I don't have it physically. And that is Seven Days of June by Tia Williams. Um, I overall don't know the synopsis of most of these books. So I apologize in advance that I'm not going to have a great description of any of them. But, and I've also gotten a Kindle within the last two years. I got a Kindle within the last year, actually. Um, it's been a great purchase. I love having it. Um, yeah, there's that. Um, but anyway, that's the book club pick for September. So that's the only book I have to finish this month. But I really hope that I get to some of these other books. I have seven other books. I have eight books total on my TBR for this month. We'll see how that will go. Um, but I like to have options. I'm not holding myself to any standards of finishing all these books, but hopefully I'll get to a few of them. The first book that I want to talk about is uh, The Messy Lives of Book People by Phaedra Patrick. Um, I'm not, I can't remember exactly what this book is about. I could read the synopsis to you on the back, but I won't do that for every book this video. Um, but I remember I picked it up at Barnes Noble a few months ago and I remember really liking the synopsis and so I've it's kind of been on the top of my TBR for the last couple months anyway and so I cannot wait to read this month. Um, the second book that I also picked up in that same Barnes Noble trip is Neon Gods by Katie Robert. This is a uh, Persephone Hades retelling and I have read that it's a little spicy so I'm really looking forward to it. Um, but I also love a good Greek myth retelling, as you probably know if you've been watching my channel for a while. So, um, I cannot wait to get to this book and just have a nice, fun, hopefully fun read, uh, this month. So, anyway, there's that. Um, the next book on my TBR is one that I am over halfway through. I've been over halfway through it for a while. And that is Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard. Um, this is the first one. This is sort of summer. I'm still on my Rick Riordan reread. I have started Magnus Chase. Started it a while ago. I want to finish this book so that I can get to Hammer of Floor, so that I can get to the third one and move on. Because Rick Riordan is coming out with some amazing new books. He just came out with in like, like a week and a half. His newest release comes out and it's another Percy book and I'm so excited. I'm so excited for the show in December. Uh, all the things I will not stop talking about it I'm sure when it starts coming out. But I just I, I've been slow rolling these books and I really look forward to finishing this finishing this reread so that I can read Hammer of Thor and read the third one that I cannot remember what it's called at the moment. Um, but yeah it's Rick Riordan. I want to get to it. The next book that I'm going to talk about is another book that I am about a third of the way through, um, and that is Firekeeper's Daughter by Angeline Booley. Uh, this was a one of our book club books um, from the beginning of this year. I think it was like February. Maybe it was even earlier than that. I can't remember. Um, but I got a little bit of the way through it and did not get to finish it before a book club meeting. That's not abnormal for me. Um, but I do end up finishing them and this one I just did not get to, I have not gotten to yet it is set in Michigan so it's a kind of a nice um, book to read about the state that I live in uh, but anyway and it's really really good and it was just picking up and then I got caught up in something else and didn't finish it so I have this again on my TBR this month because I want to finish it. I want to get to the next one because there's a sequel. It's not a direct sequel, but it is a sequel. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, YA, all the things. Very looking forward to it. Yes. Um, the next book that I want to get to is Serpent and Dove by Shelby Maureen. Ma Mahurin? Mahurin? Mm. I'm horrible at pronunciation, if you can't tell. Um, I, I don't, again, I don't know what this book was about. The top, the sentences on the back is a witch and a witch hunter bound in holy matrimony. 
there was only one way such a story could end a stake in a match. I remember being really, really excited for this book when I first heard it was coming out. It was a YA book club pick for Barnes & Noble. I don't remember what it's about, but it's been piquing my interest recently and so I figured I would throw it into this month's TBR, see if I have time to get to it. It is a beefy book. It's, um, it's over 500 pages. Um, yeah, it's just over 500 pages. So definitely will be probably bottom of the list. I probably want to finish some of the books that I'm in the middle of first, um, but still looking forward to it and can't wait to get to this book. All of them I'm excited for. That's why they're on my TBR. Um, the next book is a sequel that I will be reading this month if it kills me because I have the audiobook and I'm so excited. But that is Cursed by Marissa Meyer. This is the sequel to Gilded and it, Gilded was so good. I love Marissa Meyer's writing. I need to finish all of her other books. This one just came out a few months ago and as soon as I finished Gilded I picked this one up and it's so good. It's a Rumpelstiltskin retelling and it is so well done, so interesting. Have never, it's, it is very different. It is very dark. So if you do not like a dark fantasy, do not read this book. Um, do not read this duology. But it is, it is, I, I just, I loved Gilded so much. It was so much darker than I thought it was going to be, which with it being a Rumpelstiltskin retelling, that makes sense. But from what I know of Rumpelstiltskin, I did not know that his or I mean, I guess I could have guessed that his origin story was that dark, but the stories I've heard of Rumpelstiltskin were not that dark. And having it be set in this different retelling sense, much like her Lunar Chronicle series, um, this is much darker than the Lunar Chronicles. So if you're expecting another Lunar Chronicles-esque story, it is not going to be that. <laughs> but I cannot wait to get to Cursed. I'm so excited to read this book this month. I was going to pick it up last month, but there was other books on the top of my priority because I needed to finish things before movies came out, before book club meetings, um, and before books were due at the library. So anyway, um, but yes, I cannot wait to get to this book. It will be finished this month. I, I can't wait. I can't wait. I just can't wait. It's amazing, and I love it. And the last book is probably going to be a book that I'm going to take a couple months to read, but I am hoping to start it this month. And that is The Windsor Diaries from 1940 to 45. Um, it is a uh, My Childhood with the Princesses Elizabeth Margaret by Alethea Fitzalan Howard. Um, this is a nonfiction book um, that is a story about um, Queen Elizabeth and Princess Margaret and this um, woman's friendship with them is kind of what I'm picking up and I picked this up a few months ago at Barnes & Noble. I believe it was the same trip I picked up all these other books at and it's been on my radar and I have also been creating a little bit of nonfiction as well. Um, I will probably read this slowly over the next few months but um, unless I get just super into it um, but it looks like it's set in in a diary-esque fashion by days and things. So um, I'm I'm looking forward to picking this up. It should be a pretty kind of light, easy little read, reading chunks here and there. Um, but I'm excited to, to learn more about Queen Elizabeth and, and Princess Margaret and kind of their lives from a person who was friends with them in a way. Um, but yes, so those are a lot of books that I hope to read this month. Um, it is a little daunting having them all sit here and I'm going to have them all sitting on my nightstand, but I'm excited to also have the options for whatever I'm in the mood for to pick up. Um, even the books that I'm in the middle of are varying levels of, of genre. So, um, but I cannot wait to read all those books this month and get going with, with getting back into reading and making that a priority and, um, in addition to everything else I have going on in my life. But uh, with that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!